Welcome back guys to episode 6 in my money making series. In this series I show you guys the best ways that you can make money in depth in GTA Online. Now today is going to be all about hangers. I'm going to be showing you how we managed to make 2.6 million just from one sale mission in GTA Online using my hangers. Absolutely insane. So in this video I'm going to be taking you basically through 10 steps that you'll need to be able to use this method. So just to clear things up in the gameplay, although my game says here that I got paid 1.7 million, that's only the flat rate. There seems to be some sort of glitch right now with hangar sales that doesn't actually display your selling bonuses that you get on top of that flat rate. So to work that out, you actually just have to kind of take the cash that you had before you make the sale, and mine was 290,000, and then look at your cash after the sale, which was 2.89 million. So when you work that out, I actually got an additional $903,000 in bonuses on top of that 1.7 million. So just to confirm the math for you guys, if you sell 50 crates of the same type as long as it's chemicals, medical supplies or narcotics, you will get $850,000 as a flat rate or $1.7 million if it's double cash and it will actually display that on the sell page if it is double cash. So if it's not a double cash week, it will say $850,000 but if it is, it will say $1.7 million. And then there's what we'll call the variable bonus on top of this. Mine was 900,000 or just over 900,000. But I have seen people reporting getting less than this or even more than this on top of their uh, original flat rate that we're supposed to get on their sell page. So it's quite hard for me to say to you guys exactly how much you'll get from doing this because it is somewhat of a variable bonus of seeing people reporting getting less than 900,000 and then people um, reporting that they get more than 900,000. So it just seems to depend what sort of lobby you're selling in. If you are watching this video before September 18th, it's currently double cash and RP on Smuggler's Run cell missions, so there's no better time to use this method and use your hangar to make millions of dollars like I did here. I pretty much paid off the original cost of my hangar from this one cell mission plus profit. So if you guys want to get involved with this method, I'm going to be talking you through exactly what you need to do to use it. So first of all, you will of course need to get yourself a hanger. If you don't already have one, I'd really recommend spending 2 million for the cheapest one at Fort Zancudo. I haven't really regretted my investment there and I've pretty much paid it off from just one cell mission. And the only upgrade you should get on your hanger that you really need is the living quarters, just so you can spawn there. The rest of them um, aren't really needed for this method at all. The next thing you need to know is that it's better to focus on only one item type until you have 50 of that one item type and then you export all 50 crates at once. The three most profitable ones are chemicals, medical supplies and narcotics. It doesn't matter what one of those three you use but you just want to choose one of them and stick with that one. And I'll show you guys why in this awesome spreadsheet made by Cali Meatwagon. As you can see in this spreadsheet, it breaks down the three different items that get the 70% bonus on sales when you collect all 50 of them. So that's the reason that it's better to save up 50 of the same type of crate, because that's when you get the 70% bonus. Now of course these rates say you'll get a flat rate of 850,000, that doesn't include the extra bonuses that you seem to get on top of that, and also this is not including double money, so if you're selling it on double money you can pretty much double any of these rates at the bottom, so instead of the 850,000 you'll be getting the 1.7 million. Now I'm not going to lie, sourcing these items is going to be a bit of a grind. It's going to take you on average 10 minutes to complete each source mission, and that means if you're doing it solo, you're going to have to do 50 different source missions to get 50 different crates. And this is where having friends really pays off because for each friend that joins you on that source mission, you're going to get one extra crate. So if two of you do a source mission, you're going to get two crates. If three of you do the source mission, you get three crates. And if the maximum four of you do a source mission, you will of course get four crates at a time. So if you are able to get the maximum, it's really going to speed up. Um, the amount of time it's going to um, take to fill a hangar, you know, you can literally fill it in a quarter of the time than if you were doing it solo, or even half the time if you got one other person. It's also worth noting that this week Rockstar are also being quite generous to your bodyguards and associates. They're going to be getting double GTA cash um, salaries when they're going to be helping you out. So I believe they will be getting between 10 to 12,000 per mission that they do with you. And it's still not, you know, a huge amount for your bodyguards. I wish they would kind of give them a bit more maybe in this bonus week. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice little incentive to give your friends a bit more of a reason to help you. You know, they're going to be getting a little um, more money every time they do a source mission with you. 
You'll also notice when you source a crate you're going to get a cooldown timer until you can source the same type of item. And although it is tempting to source a different type of item um, to wait for that cooldown to go down, it just means that you're going to miss out potentially on the 50 crate bonus if you have other types of crates in there. Um, since you can only store 50 crates at once so um, it's better to just wait this out or you know do a quick mission or a VIP mission do some stunt races and it's double cash and RP on stunt races do something else until it's time um, to import the next crate. Once you've saved up all 50 crates you are of course ready for the last step of this which is this cell mission and bear in mind these are not easy you're going to be up against most likely NPC jets and potentially other players in, their, in your lobby if you're not in a, a solo public lobby and I'd suggest always having three other friends with you so you have a full squad and um, to help you sell your stuff you know it's going to be absolutely essential especially if you're selling all 50 crates at once. And it's also recommended to have one of your friends take a buzzard, so you'll see in this gameplay here we were fortunate enough to have three vehicles to deliver so our fourth player was available to get in the buzzard and he kind of went up there and helped distract the enemies while we coordinated on just delivering the packages from our three delivery vehicles. Now I've noticed a lot of people comment on my videos wanting people to play with or sell with so feel free to leave a comment on this video with your um, gamer tag and what platform you play on if it's PS4, Xbox One or PC and maybe you can find some other friends to play with or you guys can help each other out with cell missions and I'll also link my crew down in the description if you want to join my official Silent Core crew and you get a cool little YouTube logo that you can put on your, your hoodies or your vehicles and you can maybe find some people to play with through my crew. So that's pretty much the method on how you guys can make millions of dollars with your hangar. I was quite actually shocked to see how profitable this was. I really wasn't expecting an extra 900,000 in bonuses um, when I did it this week, so that's um, kind of shocking. But hey, I'm definitely not complaining. And do let me know down in the comments how much you guys got in total um, if you do manage to sell a full hangar of 50 crates, because I, I feel like it's different from everybody. Everybody seems to be getting different variable bonuses on top of the flat rate for selling the crates. So just be sure to take a note of the cash that you have before you do the sale and then the cash that you have after the sale so you can accurately see how much exactly you got paid for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, please take a second to leave it a like, it really helps support my channel and if you are new around here be sure to subscribe because I do keep you guys up to date with the best money making methods in GTA Online. Have yourselves a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.